we're back from Hawaii, hence the tan. Hopefully I look tan. But I never did this at the beginning of this, uh, this video series, so I'm not gonna do it now, right? Because the goal was to be below 210 and to lose about three inches off my waist, but I don't know where I started, so we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out right now. But as far as the weight goes, when I left for Hawaii, I was 222, and we didn't have a food scale there, or <laughs> we didn't have a body weight scale there, so I don't know what I weighed there, but I woke up yesterday at 220.6, and today I was 219.2, I think. Yeah, oh, here's my phone. Let's see. Yeah, today was 219.2. So, you know, while it might not seem like much, we are headed in the right direction. So, let's go ahead and get a, whew, it's cold. Now, typically with circumference measurements, I prefer to use centimeters, because it's a little, oh my God, I still have sand in my scalp. Yikes. Anyways, um, I prefer to use centimeters because you can just get a little, it's like a smaller increment. So it's a little bit easier to get the, uh, the reading. So measuring the waist, I, want, I like to go right at the belly button because it doesn't move. And I got some fucking love handles so I can easily see how we're doing on that. Um, all right, so we are at 96 and a half centimeters. It's funny because I said I want to lose inches, but I'm measuring in centimeters. So 96 and a half centimeters, that is, that's where we're at. All right, so in addition to taking my weight, my waist measurements, I figured it'd be a good idea to take my heart rate, heart rate variability, and blood pressure as well. Now, those are just some good things to take, right? And the reason being is those three numbers uh, together, they kind of, they can paint a really good picture of kind of what's, what's going on under the hood in terms of just like, how well are you handling stress? How well are you able to recover? How healthy are you cardiovascularly? So um, here's the stuff that I use to do that. Actually, I need my phone. So for the heart rate and heart rate variability, I use a Polar H10 uh, heart rate monitor here. I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't want to focus. Um, so we put this bad boy on. Whew, it's always a little cold first thing in the morning. Get that situated. And then I use an app called uh, Elite HRV. All right, so all done. I also took my blood pressure cuff or blood pressure with this blood pressure cuff right here. This Omron thing. It's pretty dope. Whoa, whoa. It's pretty dope because, well, it was pretty dope. It's pretty dope because it doesn't have any like cords or tubes like a lot of traditional ones do. It's just battery powered, but somehow I broke the battery door on here the last time I used this, which I'm just now remembering. So uh, that's kind of lame. But anyways, as for the results, blood pressure was 122 over 73 and the heart rate that I got from the blood pressure cuff because that also does it as well was 42 bpms now as for the heart rate and heart rate variability from the heart rate tracker we had hrv of 77 and a heart rate of 43 so it looks like that heart rate was pretty spot on now for those of you that aren't that familiar with like hrv what it is what it does so it measures the difference in time in between each heartbeat now it sounds counterintuitive but you actually in most scenarios want a higher HRV um, or more variance in your in your heart rate, more variability in your beat to beat heartbeat, and the reason being is um, it you know when your body is sick or diseased or whatever or stressed, the heart tends to beat more like a metronome, like with the same exact cadence, and so when you do have that uh, variability, it's just a good sign of recoverability. So. One other thing to mention, if you are familiar at all with HRV, um, there's kind of two different ways or two different units of measurement. The first being RR intervals. That's what Elite HRV uses. So that's what the uh, 73 or 77 is. Now, my Polar Watch, this also does HRV uh, like for when I sleep and stuff. But this measures an MS intervals, which I believe is the same as like Apple Watch. Um, I think the I think the aura ring also is, is measured in that. So just if take those numbers with a grain of salt. Um, but 77 
RR intervals. It's pretty good. Um, not to toot my own horn, but uh, just so we have something to base it off of. So last night, uh, my HRV was 104 on my watch, which is an MS. So it's a different scale, um, but just wanted to put that little asterisk out there for you. My office is an absolute mess right now. It's, it's not actually that much of a mess. It's just so much mail. I fucking hate mail. I didn't used to hate mail until Ashley and I started living together and she hates mail, so now I hate mail. So, when Ash and I were in Hawaii, we were drinking lots of macnut lattes, so hence the macadamia nut and coconut sweetener. So we decided to bring that vibe back home. So we did what any sane person would do, went on Amazon. It's got the highest rated uh, sweeteners there are, zero calorie, zero sugar, probably full of a bunch of bullshit, but I don't really give a shit, so here we go, cheers, first step. That is fantastic. Wow. We're having three of these today at least. <sighs> wow. You know, coming home from vacation is always hard. One because you're not in beautiful Hawaii anymore where your only problems are what to eat for lunch and what time do you want to go down to the beach. So, been adjusting. Also slept like dog shit last night. Woke up at like 3 a.m., had to go pee and didn't fall asleep till sometime after four. Uh, so that was fun. Um, so this is very much appreciated right about now. Um, but yeah, have an atrocious amount of mail to go through. I've got some videos to script um, and then would love to work out, go for a walk. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Crazy Saturday here uh, for Eric, for those of you that truly care. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we got the mail taken care of. I had been avoiding that. I literally had some stuff from January that I hadn't opened yet, but some stuff, some not so fun stuff, bills, credit card stuff, tax stuff that I was just kind of avoiding, but we got that taken care of. <clears throat> Made a smoothie first meal of the day in the good old Vitamix, and they came with these cups that I've never really used. Well, I used them like once, but I didn't really like them. And I don't know why, because I'm using it right now and it's a fucking, it's a vibe. So this smoothie I've been doing lately, um, it's this mixed berries, it's like blueberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries from Costco. Comes in a big old bag. Use that, banana, some spinach, protein powder, like two scoops of protein powder, and like 60 grams if we're being technical here so I get like 50 grams of protein and then the secret sauce is sunflower butter now you got to be careful because those calories can add up quickly but it definitely adds just like a, a richness a fullness uh, to it and it just and it tastes phenomenal so um, that was one of the things I wanted to get done today was the, the mail getting some food in and then now going to do some YouTube scripting so the the online coaching game, the the client roster has been a little slim lately, a little slimmer than I'd like. So I have been doing uh, a little little side gig, if you will. Um, there's a YouTuber, Charlie Chang. I make videos for some of his other channels um, on a bunch of different stuff. So uh, got some scripting for that to do. So going to get going on that. But uh, but yeah, that being said. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you're trying to lose fat, if you're trying to put on muscle, if you're trying to get in the best shape of your life, 
look no further. It's your boys got you. Uh, they will, I'll leave a link down in the description um, to apply for coaching or just shoot me a DM on Instagram or whatever and uh, we'll get you sorted. But yeah, let's get to some scripting. Also, just while I've got you here, these walls are painfully blank and I've been wanting to do something with them for a while. At first, my first initial idea or thought was like a couple like quotes or something, like make them in Photoshop, print them out. Um, but that was kind of kind of cheesy in my opinion. So what I've been thinking is some pictures that I've taken. I actually have a, a folder that I started for like office art that I want to put up there, but I was kind of thinking like black and white. So maybe I'll like, I'll put some I'll put some options that I'm like considering on the screen here and then down in the comments, let me know what you think uh, would look best or what your favorite it is. And um, so my thought is like find some frames and print them out and get them up there. I'm thinking maybe like three across in that. <laughs> that thing that thing doesn't have to stay. I don't know. The office is a vibe, but the walls, the wall art is just, just kind of lacking. But that, I, I do like that, but maybe it's not the vibe. Got it at Goodwill when I was in college in Reno. Um, so maybe maybe it's time for a bit of a, of a refresh, but yeah, let me know what you think about the pictures here on the screen. And I'll put like a number or a code or something and, and you, you you comment down below the the three that you think would look best across there behind me. Right, done with scripting for the day. Was super productive. Got five scripts done. So I'm gonna call it a day. All in a little under two hours of focus. Took a little like 30 minute break in there. Um, yeah, pretty hyped. Uh, I feel like lately, you know, before going to Hawaii and stuff, just super distracted and like I was always reaching for my phone, going on Instagram, going on TikTok, or whatever. Uh, when I'm trying to get shit done. But today I was just like like just just dialed so that felt good but yeah i'm gonna go sit in the sun go for a walk with little bear because i'm sure she would love that and then uh get ready to make burger tacos again because that's how we roll the hardest bite I've ever had since I didn't wait to sit down.
prep some chicken. So, officially home, officially settled in. It's been a few days now. So, one thing I talked about that I wanted to do in order to help me reach these fitness goals I have is meal prepping some food and just having the stuff that I need on hand in order to reach the goals that I want. So, we went to Costco the other day, got a bunch of chicken thighs because they're just way better than chicken breasts. Chicken breasts are, there's time and place for chicken breast, but if I had to choose one for the rest of my life, I'm choosing chicken thighs every goddamn day. So, just got the Traeger started because, well, chicken thighs on the Traeger just come out absolutely fire. So, gonna get this bowl here, fill it up with chicken, put some olive oil on it, some salt, pepper, garlic, and green goddess seasoning, if we have it, some Trader Joe's, so. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so in total here, we have 7.86 pounds of chicken. Now, we're not gonna cook all that, we're gonna cook half of that. So there's six packs, we'll cook three of them. And this time, we went with the non-organic because, let's be honest, it's a lot more cost effective. It's $3.49 a pound, whereas the organic's like $5.99 a pound. So, you know, do with that what you will. Uh, but yeah, this time we're going with the, the non-organic chicken. So, so look at that, that's a fuckload of chicken for 27 bucks total. I mean, if that ain't a steal, I don't know what is. Successfully got the chicken in the pan, or not the chicken in a bowl without spreading salmonella all over the entire kitchen so great success so I'm gonna load it up with some olive oil now olive oil is very calorically dense if you didn't know that um, and I should probably measure or track that but I don't I've made chicken like this on the Traeger a bunch of times and I just kind of eyeball it just I like to put the olive oil on there to Kind of give the seasonings something to like hold on to as well as just give it like you know you wouldn't just throw a chicken breast in a pan without some oil or butter or lube you know what i mean so that's kind of the idea with the barbecue now i'm gonna do some salt pepper and shut the fuck up because these are very loud also with the back to the olive oil thing like this is again like at least three and a half pounds of chicken. So if it looked like what I did was a lot, you gotta remember, like, there's a, a lot of chicken in there, so don't be scared. Also, another thought I had while thinking about that is like, yeah, chicken thighs might be a little higher in fat. You know, use a generous amount of olive oil there, right? So is this the most fat loss approved meal or food choice? Maybe not, but I enjoy this a hell of a lot more, and it might not be the best option, but it's definitely a better option than what it could be. And if you can consistently play that game, right? Consistently play the better game, instead of occasionally trying to play the best game, you're gonna be a lot better off and see a lot more success. All right, that looks good, even though I know it's not because I always have to go through a second time when I, uh, make this chicken but this is that green goddess stuff i was showing you hopefully it is focusing on that and not my face not that much in here so we're just gonna go ham and do it all okay now i lied about my workout of the day getting it from the salt and pepper because the real fucking task is this guy right here so he's been a bastard to try to open for basically the whole time we've had this entire jar of garlic and for the longest time, oh my god, that was the easiest I ever got that off because I intentionally didn't put it on there that hard. But I don't know why this was so hard. And for the longest time, it was pissing me off so much on to why I couldn't open this top without having a fucking aneurysm. And so I found out it's from doing this. So, you know, you pour out your, your garlic. I like to do it this way because you also get some like the juices in there. And it's really fire. But what happens is now I got a little bit of that garlic juice in there and got a little bit of garlic juice in there and it just literally turns into like a glue. So, good thing I got these fuckers to open it up with. All right, 
Let's slop this around. See how we're looking. Probably gonna need more seasoning, but that's okay. I feel like when I first started cooking for myself, I was kind of sparing with like salt and pepper and just seasoning in general because that's just kind of how I grew up, you know? I remember my dad used to always say like, you know, people put salt and pepper on a meal before you even try it. And it's like, like, oh, it's made a certain way. Like you don't need salt and pepper, but it's like, maybe just make bland ass food. And I like to spice things up a bit. So I can already tell that these are looking a little pale. I want to see a little more, a little more seasoning on these puppies. But as I started cooking more and more over the years for myself, seasoning your food, plenty of salt and pepper alone can go a long ass way. Now, I'm not trying to like overdo it or go crazy. Wow, you can really fucking tell these puppies are non-organic. Look at that thing, it's the size of my fucking head. It's okay. You don't have to tell actually that. But if you're watching this, I love you. Okay, cool. Chicken looks ready to rock. Okay, so chicken looks good to go. Let's check on the Traeger app. <laughs> Brisket Misfit is done preheating. So again, throw this on the Traeger. Um, I don't have an exact science to this other than using a meat thermometer to check when it's done. But I found about 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes each side. Typically comes out. So these guys are a little bit bigger. Maybe they'll take a little bit longer, but let's go throw this shit on the grill. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Counting down. Bet you didn't know you could just say fifteen minutes to start a fifteen minute timer. So you no longer have to say, hey Siri, set a timer for fifteen minutes. Uh, not you. Um, yeah. So there you go. The more you know. Alright. Chicken hit 165. So it's time to cut this shit up and eat it. So in there we've got some salad mix, chicken, obviously, uh, carrots, bell peppers, cucumbers, and some vegan blue cheese dressing. <laughs> 